folks, today I'm going to be showing you a game called Quinto. This game came out in 1964 from the 3M Bookshelf Company and it is for 2 to 4 players. Now Quinto can best be described as Scrabble with numbers. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be placing number tiles on a board in an attempt to try to get them to equal a multiple of a certain number that is on the board as well. Normally it's going to be the number 5. Uh, and you're going to be scoring points uh, depending on how many of these tiles you can play and what the sum of those tiles are going to be. So without further ado, let's show you how it works. Okay everybody, let's go ahead and show you the components. Uh, right here you have your game board and this is just basically a grid and it's got edges on here so the tiles will not fall off. Speaking of the tiles, uh, here you have uh, different tiles here. They're brown and they have different numbers on here. You see three, seven, two, etc. Right here you have your little scorecard. It comes with this little pencil that you can use to write on it. Uh, I typically use a little uh, erase marker like this and it works just as well. Uh, underneath here you have what are called your mole tiles. In a typical game you're going to use the number 5, uh, but there are other tiles here that you can use if you decide to. So in this case I'm going to go ahead and choose the 5 um, as what is called the mole tile. And I'm going to just simply place it here in the middle of the board. Now, in the beginning of the game, everybody is going to receive five tiles, and I'll go ahead and give um, everybody their five tiles, and um, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so basically here's how the game is going to work. You're just going to basically be using your tiles here to try to make the biggest uh, sum uh, that is going to be a multiple of five. And you can uh, stack your tiles either vertically or horizontally, and you can also uh, play tiles next to other tiles that are on the board, but they have to be able to equal a multiple of five. So I'll go ahead and get started here, and let's just say I decide I'm going to go ahead and place the 6 here and the 4 here, and that is going to give me a total of 15 points. So I will go ahead and uh, mark that down on the score sheet, and I will draw two tiles, and they will go on to player 2. So player 2 is going to go ahead and look at his tiles, and uh, one thing to note is the maximum length of the line that you can make is 5 tiles. You can't go past 5. Um, so let's just go ahead and say player 2 decides to go, and he sees, let's see what he's got here. So let's just say player uh, 2 decides he's going to place one here. This is going to be 15 points. Okay, so this is so far 15 points that he's made. This is 16, 17, 18 points. Um, this is 26 points, and this is 30 points. So he's gone ahead and scored 30 points. And again, he can score the 30 points because 30 is a multiple of 5. So he'll go ahead and score his 30 points, and he'll draw back up to 5 tiles and so on and so forth. So I'll do a couple more little rounds here just to keep continue to show you here. So let's say uh, player one goes and he plays one here. Now right now he's got 15 here and he's got a 10 here. So this right here is going to count as 25 points. But he can continue building if he so chooses. Um, so let's just say he goes and plays a 6 here and he plays a 4 here. So um, he's going to go ahead and score 15 for this and then he is going to score 20 for this, which is going to give him a total of 35 points. So he'll go ahead and he will draw uh, three more tiles, and I'll do one more game around here. Now, I'm not going to be able to stack on this line anymore since uh, it has reached the maximum amount of five tiles. So, okay, so right here we've got 15. Uh, right here we've got a 10 that we've made. And then I'm going to go ahead and play these two, and this is going to equal 20 points for this, 10 points for this, and 15 points for this. And uh, that is going to be a total of 45 points. I hope my math is right. And so anyway, you're going to continue playing the game like this. Um, and you're going to total up all the points on your nifty little scorecard over here. And the winner of the game is going to be the one that scores the most points. So my thoughts on the game Quinto. Well, 3M Bookshelf has made some fantastic games back in the day. And I would have to say I like this game a lot as well. I like to play Scrabble, and the Scrabble with Numbers uh, idea is a nifty concept, I think. Um, I like the fact that you can choose different uh, mole tiles with different numbers on there uh, to try to change the game up a bit. Um, it's not a significant difference. Uh, it just really is just going to change what sums you're going to be looking for. But there's a difference nonetheless. Um, also like the fact that it's really easy to learn. The rules are just in this uh, sleeve over here and it's like one page. And uh, they also have rules for kids in here. Um, if you want to just try to uh, teach them math or something like that, this can be used as a tool uh, to help them. If you find this game at a thrift store, I think this one goes for around 
10 bucks plus shipping or something like that on eBay. It's not one of their more expensive games. Uh, but at the same time, this is a pretty good game. It's anyway, folks, that is my review of Quinto. Y'all keep on gaming. We'll see you later.